Welcome back to Hey Jessica TV. I am super excited because this is the first part in another series going live on my blog and I am so excited about it. So if you guys know me at all or have listened to my podcast or have listened to me talk live before, you might know that a fun fact about me is that my very first blog was a blog called I Heart Photoshop. And I taught Photoshop tutorials to help people learn Photoshop and Adobe programs a little bit better. So fun for me to look back on that now because of Hey Jessica and sort of what I do there. So something that a lot of you have requested is that I do a Photoshop series or a Photoshop class or an Adobe class or something like that. So for the next few weeks, I will come in each week and teach you a new skill that you can learn about some type of Adobe program, starting with Photoshop. But today, I want to talk to you about how you can use all of the Adobe suite in your business. So the good thing right now is that Adobe has the Creative Cloud, and it is super inexpensive, especially compared to what buying the entire suite used to be. So um, it's definitely accessible to anybody, and there are ways to make it work for your business. Now, I have the full suite. So I have all of the possible programs you can have for with Adobe. But you guys probably don't need that. You don't need video editing. You don't need um, YouTube intro editing. Maybe you're not advanced at all in Adobe programs. That's okay. The thing about the Adobe Creative Cloud is that you can sort of pick and choose the programs you want. They have a photographer's bundle, which I was using for a really long time. You get Lightroom and Photoshop for like 10 bucks a month. It's insane. And Photoshop, I'd say, is what most people in an online business need to start with and need to learn first because you can use it for all the things. You can use Photoshop to create social media graphics. You can use it to create um, timeline photos for your Facebook page. You can use it to create workbooks and PDFs. You can use it for basically everything. So if you're looking for a program that you want to learn a little better, that's definitely the one to start with. Now when you buy that first package, you also get Lightroom, um, which I love for editing photos, but if you're not a photographer, you may not even need to use that, but it's definitely worth getting the smaller package to get both of them. All right, so if you're interested in going a little deeper than Photoshop, I can give you a sort of a rundown of what the programs are and how you can use them in your business. So with Photoshop, again, it's a graphics program. So you can use it to edit pictures, make social media graphics, create PDFs, create any kind of graphic that you would need to create in your business. You can do that in Photoshop. Now, if you wanna get a little more advanced, you can use Illustrator. Illustrator is just for vector images. So if you're wanting to create a your own logo or you're wanting to create um, some type of image that you can blow up to massive proportions, Illustrator is probably your best bet. Then we move on to InDesign. If you're wanting to create an e-course or to create a workbook, InDesign is where it's at when it comes to that. It is a layout software. A lot of book editors use it. I use it for all my PDFs and any workbooks I ever design, um, but it is really good for that. You can do pages instead of in Photoshop where you would have to do one page, then another page, then another. You can actually do them all in InDesign in one layout. Um, so that's a really good one if that's sort of what you're looking for. So the last program that I would say is well worth its money is Adobe Acrobat inside of the Creative Cloud bundle. So this is a great program that will help you like change PDFs. You can edit text because it will detect the text in a PDF. So if you've created PDFs in the past and you're like, you know what, I wish I could just edit that but I don't have the original file, um, it will detect the text and help you change it. You can also create fillable forms super easy and super seamlessly there. So if you're wanting to create a form that people can just click on and fill out on their computer, we've all seen those fillable PDFs. That is the program used to do that inside of the Adobe Creative Cloud. So that's sort of how you can use Adobe in your business. And I do highly recommend that you have some type of knowledge of Adobe programs, especially Photoshop, as a small business owner. So. Buckle up because in the next few weeks, we're going to start a series all about Photoshop on the Hey Jessica blog. Bye y'all.